Hey there everyone, it's Brian, your honest mechanic, and in this video, we're diving into a crucial component of your vehicle that you might not think about often, the neutral safety switch. Now, I know what you're thinking. Brian, what the heck is a neutral safety switch and why should I care? Well buckle up because we're about to explore the symptoms of a bad neutral safety switch and why it's so important to address this issue promptly. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support means the world to me, and it helps me continue creating content that helps you keep your ride running smoothly. Alright, so what exactly is a neutral safety switch? In simple terms, it's a switch on automatic transmissions that tells your car's transmission whether it's in park or neutral. When you're starting your car, this switch ensures that the engine only cranks when the transmission is in either of these positions. It's a safety feature that prevents your car from accidentally lurching forward or backward when you turn the key or push start. Now, let's talk about the symptoms of a bad neutral safety switch. Trust me, you'll want to keep an eye out for these signs because a malfunctioning switch can lead to some serious headaches down the road. 1. Your car won't start in park or neutral. This is probably the most obvious sign that something's wrong with your neutral safety switch. If you turn the key or push the start button and nothing happens, even though you're sure your car is in park or neutral, it could be because the switch isn't recognizing the gear position. 2. Your car starts in any gear including reverse. On the flip side, if your neutral safety switch is on the fritz, your car might start in any gear, not just park or neutral. This can be incredibly dangerous, especially if you're not expecting your car to move when you turn the key. 3. Your backup lights don't work. In most vehicles, the neutral safety switch also controls the backup lights. So, if you put your car in reverse and the lights don't come on, it could be a sign that the switch is failing. 4. You're having shifting issues. A bad neutral safety switch can cause all sorts of problems with your transmission's shifting behavior. You might notice that your car is hesitating when shifting gears or that it's not shifting smoothly like it usually does. 5. You hear a clicking noise when turning the key or pressing the start button. If you turn the key to the start position and hear a clicking sound, it could be the neutral safety switch trying to do its job but failing miserably. 6. Your transmission is shifting erratically. The neutral safety switch does more than just affect starting. It also communicates the current gear position to your transmission control module. If the switch is sending mixed signals, your transmission might shift unpredictably or refuse to shift into the next gear when it should. This can lead to a jerky, uncomfortable ride and potentially damage your transmission over time. Now I know you might be thinking, but Brian, isn't it costly to fix? Replacing a neutral safety switch's cost can vary based on your vehicle and location. On average, you can expect to pay between $100 and $300 for parts and labor. However, if you are mechanically inclined, you are in luck because the switch itself costs anywhere between $30 to $80, so the labor does drive up the replacement cost quite a bit. To sum up, a bad neutral safety switch can cause a host of problems, from starting issues to transmission troubles. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.